for number one through three, the directions say to tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of the given system. Our answer is going to be a single word. Yes or no. And in order for it to be a yes, if I graphed this and shaded, this point would be in the double shaded area. I don't have to graph them though to check it. I have the, the inequalities here and I have the ordered pair. I can plug them in for the X and the Y. Okay, so I want you guys to do that with me. I don't think there's a ton of space here to do the work. So I'm going to do it up here above the name spot. The, the first equation is Y is less than X minus 3. What's my Y here? Okay, negative 2 is less than, what's the X? 2 minus 3. Negative 2 is less than negative 1. Is that true? Okay, so it checks for 1. The question is, does it check for 2? Negative 2 is greater than negative, what's our x? Why am I putting this negative here? Because it was in the equation. And then plus 1. Negative 2, is it greater than negative 1? So that's it. I want you guys to go back to what we just did here, though, and visualize what just happened. We basically found that this ordered pair is like in the green zone, and it's true for this line, but it's not in the double zone because it's not true for the other equation or inequality. I do that all the time, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay? So you could graph these, or you can just plug them in like we just did when you're doing two and three. Okay? Let's try number four. Before we do that, Serenity, can you read the directions? Because there's three things they're asking us to do. Yeah. Graph the system of blending inequalities and give ordered pairs that are solutions, and then give two ordered pairs that are not solutions. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is graph them. The second thing we have to do is find two ordered pairs that are in our double shaded area when we're finished. And the third thing is to find two ordered pairs that are somewhere else. You guys ready? Sure. Quick question. When you say somewhere else, can it even be in a place that's not even touched by Yep, and let's make sure we do an example like that so you can see, okay? <clears throat> are these both already solved for Y? Yes. Okay, so we can just graph. The first one is starting at 4, and it's 1 over 1. Solid or dashed line, peeps? Solid. This y is less than, it looks like so many of our things were going under. Okay, so I'm shading under. And let's look at that second inequality. What's missing? The y-intercept. So what do you guys think that means? Perfect. Do you see what I meant when I told you chapter six is when everything we've done all year starts to come together? Right? <laughs> so we're starting at the origin. What's our slope? Okay, so I'm going to go down to an over one down to over one. Dashed or dotted. I mean, they're both dotted, sorry. Dashed or solid. And where do we shade? Uh huh. If you get it. So if you did it wrong, you can just do it on another piece of graph paper and attach it. Okay. We're looking for two points that are in the area and two points that are not. So you just can randomly pick where two lines are intersecting on the graph. I just picked two comma three. 
Because these both lines are both solid, I can choose a point on the line and have that be an answer as well. I'm going to choose the origin. And then we have to pick two that aren't. I'm going to pick this one. It has no color, meaning it doesn't work for any of the lines, which is negative 4, 3. And then what if I do negative 1, negative 1? It works for one of the lines, but not both of the lines. So that answers to Roy's quick question of earlier. You can choose an ordered pair that isn't shaded at all for the ones that are not. Or you can choose one in the space where it was shaded for one but not the other. Okay? Now I'm aware that the challenge is going to be number seven. We did a lot of work on word problems with equations before break. Look back at those notes and what you did. Make your let statements where you're identifying your variable. Okay? I'm aware that not everything in these packets is going to be complete, but this page, I need you to come in here tomorrow with it complete, and if not completed, with questions. Okay? We have how much time? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. What should it look and sound like in here? Level one. 